I seem to have a slightly different notion about marriage or perhaps the world has it. They always keep thinking that, you know, two people have to be in alignment, that they have to stand for the same thing, that they should have the same political views. If that was the case, then why do women have the right to vote? When you say you're a feminist, what do you really mean by that? So I think being a feminist has been uh, sort of, I've had to walk backwards because for a very long time, I lived in this house where, and I grew up, you know, with a mother who made it very clear to me right at the beginning that she didn't, we never had these conversations. We never spoke about feminism or equality or anything, but it was very clear that there was absolutely no need for a man, you know. It would be very nice to have a man, like you'd have a nice handbag, but even if you have a plastic bag, it would do. <laughs> You know, it's just something that you keep your stuff in. <laughs> but, um, so I grew up with that notion and, and for a long time I really didn't feel that, you know, I mean, that there was much use for them. Um, even a gynecologist will tell you that if you have a premature boy compared to a premature girl, the girl will survive because she's stronger. <laughs> then, you know, it's, it's a fact. And then, um, I mean, also it's very sad. I mean, they, they're weak by nature. They start losing their hair, then they wrap four strands round and round their head. <laughs> and then, <laughs> oh, no, they all hate me. All I can see are the men looking at me. <laughs> then, luckily for most women, they die 10, 15 years before us. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, you have to kind of feel a little sorry for them also. <laughs> but then they spend their life with this swagger, so, like they're invincible. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to walk backwards and, and, and feel that maybe we are not superior, maybe perhaps we are sort of equal. So that has been my journey so, to feminism. <laughs> So how does Akshay survive you? Does he do the Mahamrityunjay every day? <laughs> a hundred times. <laughs> He's a very patient man. And again, it's, so once I wrote him a very bad poem. And the poem was, uh, why would I want a man just like me? What would I learn from him? What would he learn from me? Two peas in a pot died of inertia. And he said, um, what's inertia? And I said, well, that's why we're in different pods. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it works out perfectly well, you know. Um, I talked to him about the theory of relativity and he thinks I'm Einstein and, and it's a great thing. But again, I seem to have a slightly different notion about marriage or perhaps the world has it. They always keep thinking that, you know, two people have to be in alignment, that they have to stand for the same thing, um, that they should have the same political views. And if that was the case, then why do women have the right to vote if we are anyway going to be in alignment with our husbands? Um, so th there's one thing that I've always tried to make clear that the only person whose words and actions I'm responsible for are mine. The only person I'm bringing on this table is me. And if that's not good enough, then so be it. But that's it. This is not McDonald's happy meal where you get a hamburger with french fries. You get the hamburger and that's it. <laughs> and, I, and, and, and I think that that is the way to be. But I don't think that life should be this couple's only dinner party, you know. And you have to make your own path as an individual. And that, I think, is something that most women sort of learn along the way. Could you share some sort of, uh, you know, incidents, episodes in your life when you've really had to go for, the, for, for your spine, you know, when you've had a difficult choice to make and you've made it? But the whole... My whole construct is such that I don't look at difficult things as difficult. And if they are difficult in my mind itself, I have already negated it to something that I can laugh about. That is the way I'm made, you know. Um, whatever, for me, uh, every time I've seen an obstacle or a, what you are calling difficult, I look at it that if I have an obstacle, I have to leap higher. If I'm falling down, it just means that I have to succeed at something else. So when I failed as an actress, and I failed miserably as an actress, um, I didn't fall into some deep pit of depression because I just said, well, now I have an opportunity to succeed at myriad other things. And I got up and I did so many other things and, and I'm, I'm here today. 
So I don't really, I'm not someone who likes to talk about the tough part of life because I don't look at it as tough. So when you look around you today, you know, just in a kind of hierarchy of concerns, what are the things that really trouble you uh, about what's going on in the country? Uh, what troubles me? It troubles me that Asian Paints has just announced their color of the decade and it's blazing saffron. <laughs> no, but I, I'm really, again, not, I don't really write about particular, you know, politicians or uh, parties. I've, I mean, I would write equally uh, sort of, I would say sharp things about Rahul Gandhi, but then he's already doing it to himself because, <laughs> you know, at the velocity of Jupiter, apparently, was one of his quotes. So, so I don't. And, um, and the rest of it, again, I like to address in a humorous way, and I have been all along. I was just talking just in terms of uh, concerns, you know, that in, in a hierarchy of concerns, what would you uh, just, apart from the color saffron? I would say there are a lot, lot of concerns. One is, of course, that we seem to be a nation that is uh, being geared towards being, you know, uh, sort of everyone should have a smartphone, but we're not gearing towards having a, a nation of smart people. We're failing our children in education. We're spending more on, I would say, war efforts than we're spending on health. We are building statues which uh, are like 2,000 crores and above. We, ha we seem to be heading towards uh, polarizing in terms of communalism and religion. Um, we also seem, I mean, there are lots of problems at this point of time, so it's an endless list right now. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't think that this is something particularly, in every situation, with every party, there are different problems. Whoever's in power, you just have to pick those and you have to sort of voice your concerns about that.